You might be type O, type A, type B, or type, just tell me what to eat already. But somewhere out there, someone is skipping steak or drowning in soy milk because a book told them their blood type demanded it. But does your blood type actually determine what foods are right for you? Or is this just another diet myth that needs to be put to rest? Well, if this is something that's been on your mind, you've come to the right video. Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Hampton, a board certified family and obesity medicine doctor. And today we're going to dig into the truth about the blood type diet, where the idea came from, what the science actually says, and more importantly, what you should really use to figure out what foods work best for you. Stick around because at the end, I'll share the one test that matters way more than your blood type when it comes to choosing the right foods and how you can use it to personalize your diet starting today. And for fun, drop in the comments what your blood type is. Let's see which blood type is the most common who's watching this video. Let's start with a little history lesson. The blood type diet was introduced by Dr. Peter D. Adamo in the late 1990s in his best-selling book, Eat Right for Your Type. The theory, your ABO blood type determines how you respond to certain lectins, which are proteins found in foods that can supposedly cause inflammation if they clash with your blood antigens. So type O was told to eat like a caveman, high protein, no grains. Type A, they were meant to be vegetarians. Type B, you got the dairy pass. Type AB, well, you were complicated. The idea felt personalized, scientific, and even ancestral. But did anyone actually test this theory? Let's cut through the hype and look at the data. In 2013, researchers at the University of Toronto did a deep dive. They studied whether people following blood type diets actually saw health improvements based on their blood type. Result, no correlation. People improved their health only based on the diet pattern, not their blood type. In 2020, a review published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition concluded, there was no evidence that blood type diets offer any benefits. No clinical trials, no reproducible outcomes, no biological mechanisms that stands up to scrutiny. So yeah, no blood type based magic here. So why does this idea still stick? Because it feels personalized. It gives people a label that sounds Sciency. And let's be honest, we love being part of a club. Type A's feel special. Type O's feel primal. Type B's feel like they can eat cheese without guilt. But here's the truth. Just because something sounds plausible doesn't mean it holds up in the lab or in your body. Now let's talk about what actually works. If you want to improve your energy, reverse insulin resistance, reduce inflammation, and lose stubborn weight, blood type is not your compass. Your metabolic markers are. Let me break down the markers that actually give us answers. Fasting insulin, not just your blood sugar, but how much insulin your body needs to control that sugar. Elevated insulin, even with normal glucose, can signal early metabolic dysfunction. Homa IR which is a more nuanced view of insulin resistance, looking at how your body is reacting over time. Triglyceride to HDL ratio, a better predictor of metabolic syndrome than LDL alone. If your triglycerides are high and HDL is low, you're waving a big red flag. C-reactive protein, the inflammation score. If it's elevated, you can be reacting to hidden stressors, including the wrong foods. Hemoglobin A1C, a three-month snapshot of blood sugar. If it's creeping up even slightly, you need a course correction. ALT, AST, and GGT, liver enzymes that help us detect early signs of fatty liver disease especially when paired with elevated insulin or high fasting glucose. These are the tests that tell the real story. And although there are more, these tests are way more valuable than your blood type. That's why I guide my patients towards diets that lower insulin, reduce inflammation, and promote metabolic flexibility. Diets like carnivore, especially for those with autoimmune issues, mental health concerns, or histamine sensitivity. It removes nearly all common inflammatory triggers and often resets the gut. Ketogenic or low carb, diets that are proven to improve insulin resistance, reduce hunger hormones like ghrelin, and increase satiety hormones like leptin. Paleo or animal-based, for people who want to include select plants while keeping blood sugar stable. Each of these has clinical research behind them. Each focuses on real outcomes, better labs, better energy, 
better function? And what's the real test? How you feel? Are you less bloated? Are your labs improving? Are your cravings gone? Are you thinking clearer? If yes, that is the body giving you a standing ovation. Now to be fair, some people try blood type diet and feel better, but often that's because they've removed ultra processed foods, not because of their blood type. If your type A plan told you to dish soda, grains, and fried food, sure, you'll feel better, but you did need your blood type to tell you that. So if you've been doing the blood type diet and it's working, keep going. But don't expect magic just because you're following a theory that hasn't helped up under scientific scrutiny. Instead, use a more powerful filter. Test, tweak, and trust your body. Here's the test I use with every patient. How do your labs, your energy, and your symptoms respond to what you eat? Don't just track markers. And if you're on a healing journey, make sure your tools are based in root cause medicine, not recycled theories from the 1990s. So the next time someone tells you to eat for your blood type, smile politely and tell them, I'm eating for my insulin my liver and my inflammation levels. So as we're wrapping up this video, if this video helped you, hit that like button and drop your blood type in the comments. I'm curious which tribe is most represented here. And if you're ready to learn more about how to achieve metabolic health, check out the video on the screen because continuous learning is the only way to achieve metabolic health. Until next time, Remember, your body is your best teacher. Blood type is just the intro course. Let's graduate to something better. I'll see you in the next video.